Hi YouTube fam, it's been a long week and I just haven't been feeling like doing anything at all. I woke up very grumpy this morning. Looking around the studio, it's a disaster. I need to get out to soak up some vitamin D and find a new perspective. So I started with a nice warm shower, then I hopped into Maribel and headed out to run a couple of errands. First stop is the grocery store. I'm going to run in here and get a few things. And here I score. Two for six dollars for frozen fruit is awesome. Smoothies later. post office and I got the goodies that I needed to to close up my care package that I'm sending out and then I'm gonna go for a nice walk and enjoy the sunshine look at all that sunshine it's amazing <laughs> the heck I parked kind of wonky <laughs> that's weird all right on our way to go for a walk It's been months since I've been out to move my body like this. This trail is called Raven Trail. In total, it's about a four mile hike, one way to the top. Today though, I'm only gonna do halfway to a scenic area that has a gorgeous view. Come on, let's walk. This view is of Frederick Sound. This area is peaceful and quiet. It's exactly what my soul needs today. I love this trail. It's one of the first trails that Louie and I discovered when we first got onto the island. I'm back from my walk. Wasn't that a beautiful walk? It is like the perfect day. And I just made a mango banana smoothie. And I've been, I was thinking while I was out on my walk that why don't I do this more? <laughs> on a sunny day, I get so wrapped up into being in this space. And like, it's so cozy here that I'm totally okay with just never going outside. But then I get outside in nature and I'm like, why do I not do this anymore? And I really, I was thinking about the correlation between self-love 
and motivation. Like getting motivation to do things like going out for a walk or um, sticking to eating no sugar, you know, less sugar, or I'm talking about for me, like intermittent fasting, the things that I know will make my life better. Why is it so hard? <laughs> and I I have always struggled with this. And I really do feel like it ha it's a lack of self value. And it's something that I'm coming to really understand and process and be able to connect with more. And I am doing, you know, I am doing better. I can't do it all at once, but I really, I don't know. It's so funny. I was thinking about that on this walk and I've never thought about it that way before. Like that motivation and self-love are the, you know, it's, I don't, I don't value myself enough the way I don't value my time enough. I don't value my health enough. I, it's very interesting. So I think I need to do some, some thinking about that and figure out a way that will keep me motivated to do what I need to do, you know, to be healthier, to lose the weight I want to finally lose. Throughout my whole life, I've gone up and down and up and down with weight. And I've always had like a terrible relationship to food. I hate using that cliche term, but it's true. I mean, it is a relationship, I guess. And the thing about food is it's like you can, you know, you can quit drinking, you can quit smoking, but you can't quit eating. <laughs> so it makes it a lot harder, I feel like, to be able to control that, especially when you're a person like me. I'm an all in or all out kind of person. It's very rare that there's a gray area for me, an in-between, which I feel like is part of my problem. So anywho, I just wanted to share a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the, the walk that we went on today. It was really so pleasurable. And I'm definitely going to get out on that trail more. And I saw so many friendly faces and it was just really nice getting out. So uh, thank you for spending the morning with me. It started out, I felt very grumpy and woke up to my a messy apartment and my my apartment's still messy but my perspective has changed join me for the live tomorrow we'll be going live i'm going to be making a very special mocktail so i will see you then and